why should you use a backend as a service platform? Hi, I'm Alex, the architect from MacFrap, and this is Talking to the Architect. And today we'll go through a few key points to understand why and when you want to use such a platform. So the first one is development speed. So most backends as services provide SDKs that uh, get together all common features among uh, cloud-based applications. So as you don't have to reinvent the wheel yourself, it makes your development speed much faster because you don't have to produce so much code or maintain so much code over time. Which takes us to our second point, which is time to market. As you don't have to produce so much code, your application will be done in much less time, so you can uh, deliver it much faster to your end users. Then we have our point number three, which is uh, you don't need so many engineers on the backend side. So we've got scalability, uh, security, failure tolerance, and backups already covered for you. So we can go to our fourth point, which is you can focus on what brings value to our application, which is the front end and its features. You got all the backend code and, and uh, features covered for you. So you don't really have to worry about, you can just use those functions. And last but not least, this uh, ha has been validated through hundreds of thousands of users, so you can rely on such platforms because it's much easier to you uh, to you uh, find bugs or, or misconfigurations in a system that you build yourself and test it only yourself than a uh, platform that is tested through um, hundreds of thousands of applications from hundreds of thousands and uh, of developers. So these are just a few key, key features uh, that might help you decide when to use such platforms as Backfrap because we got all this covered: scalability, security, uh, failure tolerance, backups, you name it. And we are very very flexible. We work with multiple programming languages, and we allow you to focus on what brings value to your app. So if you got interested in this topic, there is a blog post in the description of this video that you can follow and read more topics that will help you decide. So if you found this information helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so you can help us grow. Also share this link with a friend that they can learn something too. If you already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions or any implementation that you would like to see, please leave it on the comment section down below. We always answer all the questions. So I hope this content was useful to you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye bye.